Hi, everybody. Um, it's me, Rylan. It is um, 4.07 on Sunday, November 29th, and I just wanted to say hello and welcome back to my channel if you are joining me again, and if you're new, hello, it's me. Um, yeah, so a little bit about me. My name is Rylan, and um, I go by he, him, his, or they, them pronouns. Um, I identify as gender fluid and I am a mental health advocate. So today's video I wanted to talk about something that has been bothering me for a very long time but I just I don't I don't know I guess I haven't had the energy to make the video but I was like today's the day. So I want to talk about something that is called toxic positivity. So if you look at that word toxic and, pos and positivity um, they don't really sound like they go together, right? It's like, how can being positive be toxic? Well, surprisingly, there are a lot of phrases and things that we say in our everyday lives to each other that feed into that whole idea that essentially not everything in our life needs to be looked at with a silver lining. Um, so some common things that we say that would be considered toxic positivity is, um, let's say your friend is struggling and you say, um, it could be worse or um, stop being so negative. Um, I feel like a lot of things on Instagram, they'll be like, a, I don't know, it's always like cars and watches and stuff, or, or really expensive houses, and it says like, you need to hustle harder or something like that, no excuses. That's, that's a lot of things for like workouts and stuff. Um, but I think the biggest thing that I, I not only hate hearing it, but I think is really detrimental is good vibes only. That's It's just super problematic because of this. Let's say you go to your friend, and I'll say let's say because this has happened to me. I went to my friend and I was having um, some problems with money and I was afraid that I wasn't going to make rent. And this person, um, you know, is a, is a very positive person and ended up saying to me, another offender that I really hate is, everything happens for a reason. And when it comes to serious things that we're dealing with in our lives, emotions like sadness, depression, anger, any emotion, and someone says to you, oh, it'll get better, or, you know, stop dwelling on it, that's not helping us heal because eventually what that's doing is invalidating how we feel. So when my friend said to me, and I was literally pouring my heart out and saying, I don't know if I'm going to pay rent, and she said to me, everything happens for a reason. It'll all work out in the end. That's not helpful because when I heard that I was hearing your feelings don't matter, um, essentially, you know, a little bit of like you're being dramatic and it just completely erased the real fear that I had of something that is extremely life threatening. Um, so it's just, it's extremely detrimental and it doesn't help anybody because it is, it is extremely invalidating. And also, I put a note on my phone. Um, yeah, I mean, in, in the big picture, it can honestly hinder the relationship you have with that person because if you're going to be constantly told that whatever you're feeling, you know, can essentially just be brushed off or can be changed by your mind, why would you want to continue to open up to that person? Why would you want to tell someone that you are maybe struggling with an eating disorder or something like that and someone just says, you know, give it time or um, stay positive, you'll get through this. It, that's, that's not how it works. So what are some workarounds? What are some things that we can say instead of that? Well, we can validate that person and we can say, I understand that you're going through a really hard time. I'm here to listen. Or we can simply ask people, what can I do for you? How can I help? How can I support you right now? I think it's really important to just be proactive when you're listening to someone that's struggling because what do you want when you're hurting? Do you want someone to just kind of say, you know what, you'll be okay, just like suck it up, it's cool. Versus someone saying, hey, I'm here, I'm with you. How can we get through this together? And the one specifically, um, again, about the, the good vibes only that really bothers me is, are we not allowed to feel other feelings besides happiness? 
not everything can be put into a silver lining. So I honestly feel like friends that are gonna tell you that feeling sadness or anything other than positivity is negative, that is toxic. My big thing in life is every single feeling is valid. You don't have to question and don't judge yourself on how you're reacting to a situation. It's something that's difficult to put into practice and I've had a hard time reminding myself of that when I, maybe I feel like I'm getting worked up about something that doesn't matter. And I have to remind myself, well, this is valid. It's okay for me to be upset that I wanted to, like this just happened to me. Uh, it was okay for me to be really fucking upset that when I had my food delivered, they forgot my pizzas. And I know that that sounds like a first world problem and that probably sounds like a really stupid example to people, but it really did upset me. It upset me because this is something that I had set money aside for. I had to wait to get it in the mail and then I didn't get it and I was really upset because that's a comfort food to me. And if someone were to just say to me, oh, get over it, or, or this too shall pass, that's another one that I think is really detrimental, um, it's just not helpful. So I think we just need to be more aware of how we talk to other people and think about how would that feel if that was being said to you because feeling feelings isn't bad and we should not be shamed ever for reacting to a situation that feels appropriate and natural to us. So that's my little PSA. And yeah, if you've ever experienced toxic positivity, if you disagree with me, let me know. But I just, I don't feel that there is a silver lining to every situation. It's just, that's not how life works. So, all right. Bye, y'all.